Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Honest Play back with another short video. And I just want to get some things off my mind. So if you want to watch the video, you're more than welcome to. If not, peace, have a good day, take care, stay safe, and treat people the way you want to treat you want others to treat you. So, anyways, this past week, I've been in this like really, really strange mood. Like, it's like a cross me like being depressed, but also being like very irritated. Plus, I don't know. I guess because when you're single, you're by yourself, you know, maybe like me, like an introvert, likes to keep to himself. I keep telling myself, oh, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go out. I'm going to get out the house, go stop by, see, see friends. But literally when I get off work, all I want to do is run into my bedroom. I even avoid my brother slash roommate. If I can, just go straight into my bedroom, close the door, try to make sure I have all a eating already or just make me something quick in the kitchen and just stay in my bedroom and watch like BL series or watch shit on YouTube, whatever I want to do. And I'll just isolate myself. And I've been enjoying my isolation a lot. And it's crazy because it makes me think of when COVID first hit, how I hated being isolated because I felt like, well, I know why, because you were forced to be isolated. It wasn't by choice, it was mandatory. If you don't want to catch um, COVID and possibly die. So I've been isolated for the past couple of days and when I come to work, you know, I love my job. I'll see you guys can tell I'm recording at work right now. It's quiet because it's Sunday. These homeless bum motherfuckers, and I hate to say it, but they've been all black. And not saying we have we have plenty of good black customers. So it's obviously it's not all black people. You don't strike a whole group of people of an actions for the actions of a few bad apples. But it's been so irritating. These bum motherfuckers been coming in and stealing. And when you confront them, I think it's my boss tells me because they, they care about my safety, which I appreciate that by my bosses. They'll tell you, don't, like, engage them physically, nothing like that. Obviously, you never know they're carrying a knife. Thought someone came in. Um, you're carrying a knife or whatever. Even though I know my mom's probably going to see this, get a little mad at me, but oh well. I did get in a fight with one, like, a couple months back. But obviously, I'm fine. Um, well, fine physically. But um, anyway, so like I'm so tired and cause you know, don't get me wrong, cops can't be everywhere and the thing is the point of not calling the cops, it's not cause you don't want to call them, it's just the time the cops get here, the damage is already done. But it's so sickening cause it's been kind of like routine lately. Just today too, cause you know, after a while, you just gotta expect the worst out of people, which is something I'm really good at doing. This motherfucker, this motherfucker like such a bum, oh my God, he looks so bottom of the fucking barrel. And I hate to say, but he really looked like garbage. So he comes in, like, maybe like a half an hour ago before I'm making this video. He comes in. I say he looks like a bum, but I like, I say hello to him. He ignores me. Okay, not the first person to ignore me. Not going to be the last. I get ignored by Asian, um, Asian customers and white customers all the time, too. So it's nothing new. Um, he makes a beeline to my boss, which was odd because he didn't, like, go to the shelves or nothing. He gives my boss a... And his Medicaid card and so I'm seeing like my boss looking kind of confused so I go straight back there and this guy says to me are you in college like to me like I don't know he wanted to he couldn't think of a better insult because first of all I'm not in college I'm a GED graduate for those who don't know but I never been in college a day in my life but but say someone you're in college that is like the most corniest fucking insult in the world it's like calling someone you're five six okay, I can't do nothing about my height. Like, it was so corny. And then he gets, like, flustered and he just leaves. And my reason I'm, like, looking at him, not because he's black, it's because he looks the description of the motherfuckers who could come into my job, like, and stealing deodorants, stealing lotions and soaps. So, you know, after a while, I'm like, I'm going to judge you. And especially when you look like a piece of shit like that, I'm going to judge you harshly. Motherfuckers judge me all the time, so I'm judging back. Um... So I'm like, okay, that was fucking weird. I tell it to my boss, like, that was fucking weird. And then between, you know, now getting back to my whole want to be by myself, like, I just haven't been enjoying, like, hanging out lately. I've been doing my own thing, like, either be forbidden or work on my YouTube channel. By the way, I've been literally been passing out my business cards, like, almost to customers all day, <laughs> trying to really put forbidden out there some more because I feel like I haven't been doing forbidden enough justice. Like, I don't want to harass people with Forbidden, but it's, it's something I'm passionate about. So, I've been doing a lot of that as well. 
And I don't want no one like to call me later, like Damien or Darnell. I know you guys have my phone number. Do not call me. You guys could just message me and say, honest, I hope you're well. But I don't need a phone call because I don't really want to chat. Not not in a bad mood with nobody, by the way. Like, I'm, like, I feel like I'm angry at the world, but I'm not mad at no one in particular. I'm just, like, not in a good, good social mood. But if someone approached me, of course, I'm not mad at no one in particular. So I can talk, you know, I'm interact. I'm, like, not going to be shitty to people who are being shitty to me. But it's like, I'm just not been in a really, really social mood. And, you know, I wish I'd get out of that. But as I'm getting older, show off the haircut I got yesterday. Mind you, my barber's amazing. But I actually did not want to get a haircut. I got it because my facial hair was getting fucking ridiculous. But I really didn't want, not want to get the haircut. $35 for a haircut is not fun. <laughs> but let me see. Do I have anything else I want to say before I wrap this video up? But anyway, I've just been enjoying my, like, being my own space. Working on forbidden stuff. Um, making more content for my YouTube channel. It's like, I'm passionate about things that don't require me to be around people. <laughs> Outside of work. So, I don't know what I, like, hopefully I get out my little funk. But I'm going to make this video, I felt like chatting a little bit, just kind of give, like, a general update how I've been feeling. And it's not no one's job to fix me. I don't want no one to do that. I'm okay. Because I'm not lonely. I'm just, that's the thing, I'm not lonely. So, I'm okay in my own company. I just feel bad because a lot of people are probably feeling like, especially close friends, probably feel like I'm not fucking with them. When it's not them I'm mad at, I'm just not in the best mood. And I can't hang out if I'm not in a good mood. I don't want to, like, I, I can't do the whole people thing if I don't want to be around people. But anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well. For those who watch this, thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe. Take care. Make sure you treat people where you want to, you want to be treated. And that's it. Honest play out. Until next time.